welcome back to Wines and Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the videos they don't want you to see. Hosted by yours truly, The Candleman. Are you guys welcome back to Wellington Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the videos they don't want you to see. Hosted by yours truly, The Candleman. Right, another unboxing video here related to the uh, up and coming spray video series okay so you've uh, seen the unboxing of the Wagner spray machine that I bought recently and obviously if you're an house basher and you work on site nine times out of ten there's gonna be no power so what do you do if you want to use your spray gun you're gonna to have to buy a generator ain't you that's right so that's what I've done and I've not even opened it yet. I'm going to unbox it with you guys and this is the generator that I've chosen. Um, if you're going to start spraying your plots, right, I'll tell you now, it's going to cost you about a thousand pounds to get yourself set up. Yeah, about a grand, a lot of money I know, but uh, it wouldn't take you long to make that money back, will it? Let's face it. Um, so yeah, what I've done, I bought this Clarke uh, maximum output of 1,100 petrol generator. The spray gun is 750 watt, so this should do the job. And it's uh, it's a fairly small one, which is all I need. Uh, pretty silent running this one as well. Once you start going up to the bigger models, they start being quite noisy. So. This is a pretty good one because like it's supposed to be quite silent running and uh, I'll show you it's actually running uh, in this video as well. Um, so yeah, let's get it unboxed and show you guys. I've not even seen it yet so, well I have seen it but For a start, actually, for a start, I paid uh, £180 for this generator. Uh, and then, uh, what else did I buy? I bought some oil as well for, for, for the for the engine. So, you're getting on for like 200 quid. So, by the time you pay for your fuel to get there and get back. Didn't you? So, yeah, let's get it unboxed and show you guys. Basically, what it says on the box is 1,100 maximum power output, air-cooled, four-stroke petrol engine. Uh, runs on, runs for about five and a half hours on a three-quarter load. Standard 230 amp plug, and you've also got a 12 volt battery charging facility on this. Uh, so. Yeah, not bad. And it's got a handle on it, so should be able to carry it as well. I didn't want to get anything any bigger because, you know, the start, the, the, the bigger the generators, the more noise the mech and light. All you need is something for your spray gun, enough power to operate your spray gun. You don't need extra plugs and stuff like that on it. I mean, as the years go by, if you find you want to get a bigger spray gun and a bigger generator and it's making your money and making your life a bit easier, then, you know, you can upgrade your equipment. And don't forget, you know, if you're self-employed, you put this stuff down on your tax. So you, you're going to get some of the money back on this, aren't you? So it makes sense. You know, the old saying, you've got to spend money to make money. And that's true, isn't it? Uh, so bear in mind, I'd, I'd probably... <clears throat> I'll probably like hang on to your box. 
just in case. You know, get one to sell it at a lathe, plus it weighs handy to add a box on it. You know, plus if it goes wrong. I don't know what the uh, warranty is on these, but you'd think it'd be about 12 months, wouldn't you? But yeah, this is the actual generator I'm going to use. So, let's, uh, oh right, on the top. <coughs> oh right, so I've got to fix the, got to fix the angle of myself. That's handy, isn't it? Bloody hell. It's like a Meccano set, isn't it? So yeah, there's an angle there. Oh, there's your, uh, there's your lead. If you want to charge a battery up at the same time, can't imagine me uh, wanting to do that, can you? So, oh, look at that. Get a screwdriver. That's handy, isn't it? I'm running a bit low on screwdrivers, so. And some sort of spanner. I'm not sure what that's for yet. So, there we go. More polystyrene. Bloody nightmare to get rid of that stuff. Is there? And here it is. I'd like to know. I'm going to put this handle on. You'd think they make the box a bit bigger, wouldn't you? And keep and um, fix the handle on for you. Now I'm going to struggle to get this out of So, oh. quite heavy. Let's just get this out. <laughs> there you've got your your plug there for your um, transformer your on and off switch uh, plug if you want to do charge your battery up cats anybody wanting to use that thing for your oil there which I've actually bought yeah bought it from the same place it's actually from Machine Mart. I bought this actually from Machine Mart in, in Leicester. Uh, there's loads of them about. Just type in uh, Machine Mart on Google and you'll find your nearest branch. The oil there, yeah, £7.19. <laughs> Absolutely. Daylight robbery. £7.19. And 180 quid for this. So, yeah, you got to put your oil in there. Your plug there. Now, you can get generators that, um, you know, you put your 110 plug straight in but they're the bigger models and obviously you start going up up in price a lot on them don't you which eliminates but it would eliminate you having to have a transformer for your for your 110 gear on site wouldn't it but uh yeah pretty good pretty good you got your feet there there's all your motor it is actually got you know Pull start on it with that. And there it is, there, look. It's choking everything. And uh, your exhaust there. So, yeah, pretty pretty decent with the kit. There. What I've got left in the box? <coughs> More paper. We've got the, the cap here. I don't know how I'm supposed to get it out, to be honest. So it just fills up with uh, normal unleaded petrol. And uh, you don't need to add any oil to the petrol, just, just straight off the, you know, just get the, the petrol straight from the, uh, the uh, petrol station at the unleaded pump. There's a cap there. You've actually got a fuel gauge here, so that's quite handy, isn't it? On the top. Not fuel gauge, petrol cap. So, yeah. I also went and bought a small little petrol can as well. So, yeah, it was, you know, up with this, the oil and the petrol can, about just over 200 quid, I think it was. But, you know, you need one, don't you? Because on site, there's never no, 
you, you're lucky to get any power so and also if you're working on site you will find that you're gonna to have to make some sort of uh, drip tray basically you just need a bit of wood with a bit of like tube of one going around and that's just in case it leaks any oil some regulation on site where you don't want a drip tray underneath it in case it leaks oil so it don't drip in the ground I don't know, load of bollocks in it, really. Hey, just to give uh, guys on headache, guys on site more headache, isn't it? As if we don't have enough to buy. You know, I was always thinking, you know, as painters, we don't have to buy much kit at all. But if you start spraying, you're going to need more kit, just like the chippies and the sparkies. See what it's like when they come in, you're plopped. Absolute kit everywhere, especially uh, chippies, power kit, they've got some real. But uh, yeah, if you start doing spraying, you're going to need a bit more kit, aren't you? Yeah, so spray gun, generator, uh, you know, all the crap. But yeah, there you go. So what I'm going to do now is figure out how to get this hand. Well, I think I'll unbolt this or something. So I better, I better read the uh, quick start guide, and I? You know what I mean? So if I'll get this handle on here. Somehow. Right, so I'll get back to you in a minute when I've actually, you know, got it up and running. Right then, guys, put the handle on. You can actually put this handle on whilst the unit is still in the box, but, you know, should, like, label that a bit clearly, shouldn't it, instead of you struggling to lift it out. But, yeah, you can put the handle on whilst, whilst the uh, generator is still in the box. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start this up for you so you can hear it, see how loud it is, and uh, just connect the power so you can see it working. So let me do that. So anyway, I've put the oil in. Right, you've got to choke here. Um, yeah, put the oil in down there. Watch how much oil you put in because it don't take long before it's uh, got the uh, adequate amount in there. Uh, get it on choke, put the petrol, turn the gauge down here, put the petrol on. Um, and bear in mind, this kicks out carbon dioxide, which will kill you, okay? But I'm going to just do it in here for a couple of seconds just to show you. But obviously, you know, when you're spraying your plots or whatever you're doing with the generator, you need to be putting this outside, okay? And somewhere where it's not going to blow the, the fumes back in back into the house. Uh, but I'm just going to put it on quick for you so you, you can see, see it all working. Right. Right, so there you go. That's it working. You've got your track form off. And I've just got light here. Right. Hey, no, working. And when you're done, switch it off on the power there. Choke and turn the fuel gauge, uh, not the fuel gauge, turn the fuel, fuel valve off. And that's it, cool. already stinks in here as it is. So, yeah. There you go. 180 quid for that. Um, oil, just over seven pound, but you don't use a lot there, so that's gonna last you quite a long while, depending on how long you use that. And uh, this little fuel can here, quite a nice can actually. Uh, that was £18 without the nozzle, so yeah, quite quite a lot of money, but you know, if you look after them, good bits of kit, isn't there? Uh, then obviously you're going to need your 110 transformer, they're quite dear, they're about 80 to 100 quid, and uh, you know, I've got a light here, obviously you don't necessarily need that, but uh, if you want to do a bit of spray and it's a little bit dark you can get yourself like a lead lamp there and uh, you can actually get with your extension you can get like the extensions 
for the uh, 110 plugs where you can have like two running out of one so you know I think they're about 20 odd quid and then you, you your spray gun which is about 700 and some odd pounds so yeah you're looking like a thousand pound plus to get yourself set up but won't take long to get your money back will it so yeah hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the uh, Clarker generator um, 1100 maximum output watts uh, like I say fuel just straight unleaded on that and uh, you're ready to go ain't you ready to go you will need to get a drip, tra uh, drip tray like I said because like the agents will probably pull you up on that straight away you know what they like don't like getting in trouble do they? especially for us guys so yeah uh, hope you enjoyed the video Thanks to all my subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe yourself. Always got new videos coming out. Loads all the time. Like to do these unboxings. Showing you what I'm actually buying. And what, what I'm going to actually use. And like I say. You can get all these generators and everything. From um, Machine Mart. You know. Got like stores all over England. So I buy a lot of kit from these. To be fair. The, the Clarky range is uh is quite good so dead reliable as well i've had all sorts of like water pumps and all all sorts of things over the years so yeah so yeah thanks for all my subscribers just subscribe yourself um don't forget to give us a thumbs up you know what i mean follow us on facebook twitter instagram the lot i'm on everything just type in wallington filming so yeah until next time from yours truly the Candleman, catch you later.